In this video, we'll take a look at the Crawlorama text animation, which is available on the text tab. It's the very last one. It's available down here on the bottom. And this animation emulates kind of the old Star Wars effect or crawlers that would be on like news stations and so forth. Let's go ahead and rewind this sample and we'll just go ahead and play this. I got this zooming into an old retro TV and then just kind of doing a little kind of joke here. And so uh, you pretty much get the idea. It just scrolls on and off. Just really simple. It can go left to right and so forth. Let's start off at the top as usual. We have uh, setting the font here. You can't apply the animation unless you specify a font. You've got font size and letting in between or space, space in between the, uh, the lines there. You can see that I've got a hard return for this so that it'll fit in this area. You pretty much need to do this. It doesn't auto um, kind of wrap. It just you, you have to apply your own uh, spaces there or um, hard returns to uh, get it to uh, wrap around to the next line. Um, you, of course, we have uh, alignment here. We have right to left for Arabic and Hebrew. We have uh, the specifying the font color and even a background. Now this background might be used if you were gonna do a crawler like in a news station or something like that. I've got this set to transparent so it shows through to the TV screen here. You can add a shadow and even specify the color or the blur for that shadow. We have uh, different directions that you can animate in. So there's four different options there for you. You have the ability to slow the smaller the number, the faster it is, the bigger the number, the slower the movement is gonna be. Uh, we have the number of repeats if you want it to go through a couple times like it would in a news crawler. And um, you have uh, basically repeat spacing, how much uh, time is gonna be before it loops again. And then you have a leave on stage option. And finally we have some padding down here. And this padding is for that if I have a background, how much space in between the text am I going to have uh, for that? And of course, you need to apply the animation when you uh, basically make all your settings. Now, when I click on the animation on the stage, I can move this around to wherever I want. You can see that I've uh, sized this down so it just fits into the screen area. And you can do that uh, also for a crawler or something like that if you wanted to control where it was going to show on the screen as well. It will usually start off full screen, of course, and then you just kind of get it to be the size and position that you want it and uh, hit apply and uh, settings again, and you're good to go with Crawlorama.